Hi guys, um, London is blue, but we've been new. Uh, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just come here to say two things, yeah. London is and always will be blue and get 22 at my club. <laughs> um, obviously, 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 it was the Chelsea women v Arsenal derby at the Emirates and we have been cursed at the Emirates so I was um I was scared um coming off the back of the defensive um worrisomeness class of uh Real Madrid I was worried but I saw Kadisha Buchanan back and I said that's my centre back and I didn't have any worries until I remembered oh shit Lucy Bronze plays for Chelsea and then I started worrying again and all I said to myself is just score two early and don't give them anything. We scored two early <laughs> until Lucy Bronze decided to give them something and at which point we lost control. Not just us, yeah okay, the ref. I could go on about that ref. Um, I said it on Twitter, but the way she was treating our woman of colour, um, I see you. I see you. I saw how you didn't give Leah Williamson a second yellow for what she did on Hannah, but I saw you eager to book Sandy for nothing. You should have booked Erin for the push, but you booked Sandy instead. Mm, mm, I see what you are. I smell what you are. I saw you not giving fouls on LG and Quiche and Myra, actually. But mm, mm. I will leave that there and you can have your think pieces on it because we have been new that that's how women of colour get treated and if you have no women of colour in your team arsenal well you benefit because you get away with literally bloody murder but whatever i don't care <laughs> i don't i do care because it stems into so many things and it just continues to stop vowels getting called on our forwards when Myra constantly gets fouled, LJ constantly gets fouled and we have to take them off to protect them because you won't. But then the first the first foul that got given that I remember on one of our women of colour was the conventionally pretty one. Hmm, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> Whatever, I will not dive into a think piece on women of colour in football because that is a 10 hour video in itself. What I will do is I will slander Lucy Bronze, I will praise Myra Ramirez, I will praise Sandy Baltimore, um, I will praise Kadisha Buchanan, and I will praise Hannah Hampton. Anyone else? I don't know. Kat had a really good sub appearance actually. Um, and I will say, Aggie, you need to put your chances away. I'm going to start off with the slander because why? Why am I watching Lucy Bronze play constant 90s back to back when I was led to believe that she was led to believe she was rotational? It's the fact for me that I watched Ev Persley. I just call her Ev Persley. You know what? To me, that's her name. I watched Persley last season at the bridge lock up. The same fucking attacker that scored today. I watched that with my own eyes. I enjoyed that with my own eyes. I loved watching that. So why in the flying flippity fuck am I watching Lucy Bronze, an old age pensioner who is so clearly washed up, she may as well be on flushed away. I'm getting heated. Why am I watching why am I watching her play back to back? Why? Why am I watching Arsenal's only attacking outlet be down on her side because they know that they can get at her because she's washed? Why am I watching that? Why am I watching that for 90 minutes back to back to back? 
Why am I watching that? Someone wanna, so, oh, someone wanna explain that to me when both Ashley Lawrence and Ev Perisse were on the bench. Ash didn't get brought on until, what, 10 minutes to go or whatever, and it was on for the fucking left-hand side, which wasn't the issue. Like, it's embarrassing that not just the winger who was playing left-back did a better job than bronze. It's the winger on the right-hand side who wasn't playing <laughs> fucking full-back doing a better job than Brad. Why was why was Johanna Rittenkarnerud a better <laughs> defender than Bronze today? Because she was on the cover for Bronze 24-7. It is painful that that is the outlet and everyone knows it and they will continue to attack it. It's the one hill that Sonia cannot die on because it will cause her downfall. If she tries to persist with this, it is not going to work. I almost need the games to come thick and fast at this point because she cannot play 90 minutes every three days. And that's the only way that she's going to get rotated is when the games start coming thick and fast. And I need that to happen ASAP because that is becoming the issue. It's not that the defence is shit because we've got a, a winger at left back who is locking people up and doing really well. Sandy did so fucking well today. Welcome back, Neve Charles. <laughs> Millie and Keish are our best centre-back partnership and <laughs> Millie isn't the best centre-back. That's a different conversation. I feel like she's been slightly efficient she's been, she, since she came back from injury, but she wasn't too bad today. Just learn to clear the ball. <laughs> Keish, give her the deal. Just give her the deal for a lifetime. It's, it's bronze. She is and always will be the issue and that's where my problem lies. But I'm not gonna spend forever slandering it because it's redundant at this point. We, we be knew, we, we knew what she were, like we knew what we were getting. We knew we were getting a liability and that's why I was con, I was convinced clearly wrongly that she was gonna be rotational. I'm deluded about it. Well, no, apparently about it. I know I'm deluded, but that, mm, that's the that's the delusion that I clearly thought and was wrong about. But whatever. I won't slander. I will go into the attack because we scored two goals very early on. Myra Ramirez, I love you. I hate that you don't get protected by the shoddy, shitty refs of the United Kingdom. But Lord have mercy, you have changed my life in so many ways. And week after week, she continues to convince me that had she been fit last season for Barca, the second leg, we would have been in that fucking final. Um, because she is, she terrorises defence, like defences all over. No one can, I've not seen someone rightfully, and I say rightfully, because Anyone who tries to handle her has to barge, shove, kick, push, attack her to, to have to chop her down. She is insane. <laughs> and to think, we still have Sam Kerr to come back. Oh, we still have Sam Kerr to come back. And that, those two, oh. Um, I fear for defences in the second half of the season, because if you thought Myra was bad, yeah, Myra and Sam guys 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 the the overhead kick was uh are, are we counting it i think we should because she, she just gracefully stays on her feet as well it's just uh, I, I, I she actually rendered me speechless for a solid five minutes because it's the way she just over the head uh, loops so nicely and she stays on her feet and it's so graceful like your strikers could do that, but mine can. I, I loved it. And the celebration, the vibes, I loved it. It was great. It's fantastic. Early goal, calm the nerves because I was quite, uh, I, I think I was rightfully worried about Arsenal turning up because they ended up slightly trying to turn up. Um, and then my second thought was get a second ASAP. And then um, Sandy Baltimore. 
honestly, I don't know what Sonia was cooking um, with Baltimore left bag, but it worked. It's she. It worked. <laughs> She's not been shit defensively. She's actually been really good defensively. And then she finally got the goal. She got her first goal in preseason was against Arsenal. She she hates them. Like her her first WSL goal is now against Arsenal. It's such a it's horrifically it's horrific defending and marking from Arsenal. Don't get me wrong. No one should be leaving her free to head the ball. No one should be doing that. Um, but she's there and it's a welcome back Neve Charles because um, a winger put into a fullback position seems familiar um, but she also had a great game just in general like I said I think she was obviously there's no competition the better of the two fullbacks and um, yeah short and sweet because that's what she is she's short and she's sweet and I love her and the ref can go suck my dick for trying to book her. I don't care. Um, Kitty should be canon. Give her the lifetime contract. <laughs> she has been putting nine out of tens for a while now. Um, I think she used the Barca sending off to come back with a vengeance this season because she was wrongfully sent off and I will always go to my grave saying that wrongfully sent off and she's just been a beast ever since I think that's the quiche I I I know and I love you know that's the the kitty should be canon where of old it's the kitty should be canon I see for Canada and it's not one that I saw for Chelsea quite a lot last season um but the hive is closed. If you haven't got your membership cards, uh, it's too late because the the Kadisha Buchanan hive is closed for business. It, you are locked in. If you're not locked in, get out because she is our best centre back and she needs an extension ASAP. But that doesn't mean we also don't need a centre back in January. So I, I'm here for a Garma and Kadisha partnership. Just gonna just gonna put that out into the universe. <laughs> If, if they feel like it. Um, who else? The team did great. <laughs> apart from apart from Brass. And then we the second half was shoddy. At times. Um, got saved by Hannah Hampton. Not new. Um, the bar saved us once I think. Which thanks. Thanks. Appreciate that one. Um, and... Aggie, you have to put that that chance away. What for, with a couple minutes to go, that kills it. Does it make it as bad at the end? Um, but yeah, honestly, this one was just. Uh, this also felt like another just get the points and run because with how Arsenal have been playing, it could have gone either way. Um, but you know what's great? They didn't play bad enough to sack him. <laughs> they didn't play bad enough to sack Jonas. So I think we won actually six points here today because Jonas will stay in a job and we won the game. Sonia Bombas from Masterclass, if you ask me. Um, but let's, let's take those three points and run to the Netherlands because that's our next game. Uh, in the Women's Champions League next week. Must be. Oh, brain's gone. Um, I'm also excited for Chelsea men to be back next week because <laughs> internationals kill me. Uh, I, I need the men back because they're all in really good form as well, going into their, into their countries as well. I'll, but I'm not going to make that about the men because fuck the men right now. The women. London is blue. Blue is the colour. Stream it all day long. And, you know, let everyone know that London is and forever always will be blue. So, have fun. Enjoy your day. Chels, I love you. <laughs> I, I love you. I pledge my allegiance to the Chels. And I will uh, see you guys midweek, most likely, if I'm not working. 
when are we playing again? Eek. Uh, is it Wednesday? Oh, I might be working. Oh, well. I hope it's Tuesday. Because I am working on Wednesday. Um, But... I will see you guys in whatever video I end up filming next. Um, I think it might actually be the men's game on Saturday. Am I off on Saturday? I don't know. I don't know my work schedule anymore. I'm tired. Um, follow my socials for the mess that I post on all of them. And again, up the chelps. Because again, London is blue. Don't forget it.